Who are the best performing players in the Super Leagues? Hello everyone and welcome to the What If League. Today we are doing episode 8 of the new series Super Leagues and uh, in the previous episodes we saw the development of the five divisions until the 26th of November. If you haven't seen those episodes please make sure to do so. Links will be provided in the description below or you can also browse my channel. Especially important is to have a look at episode 1 where I explain, uh, I explain the concept here, the rules of the competitions and the uh, overall idea and uh, purpose of this experiment. This episode begins with another week into the future. The uh, time in the game is 3rd of December 2017 and uh, we, we see at, in the beginning the news about hired and fired coaches. First uh, piece of news here is that Barcelona have hired Carlo Ancelotti as their new coach after they uh, fired uh, Valverde. We also see that Fenerbahce uh, parted with uh, their their manager Aykut Gochaman. Schalke fired uh, Tedesco. Domenico Tedesco has been fired by the Schalke board. Hertha Berlin have uh, also sacked uh, Dardai, Paul Dardai, and you see also Shakhtar Donetsk have decided to fire Paolo Fonseca while Leicester has fired Claude Puel. This means that the number of clubs that are now looking for a new coach has increased. You can see on the screen the number of teams that are looking for a manager. Uh, apparently the Super Leagues are taking its toll on the, on the clubs, the teams, the boards and the managers. They are quite demanding as we have already uh, explained. Uh, these are very very competitive leagues with teams that are very close in terms of, uh, in terms of talent and uh, abilities. And uh, this has led to a lot of suckings. Today's episode, uh, I'm not going to fast forward uh, three weeks into the future, I'm just going to show you this week and I'm going to dive a bit into the player and team stats to see how the teams are going. I think that uh, the beginning of December is a good time to have a quick overview of how everybody is performing. So let's get started with Super League 1. As you can see Real Madrid are still leading the way there, now they have a 6 point cushion above uh, second place Manchester United who are on the same level with uh, their English compatriots Arsenal and Chelsea, so here we have uh, English uh, chasers, but Real Madrid are far ahead of them and um, I think that they have a very comfortable lead, we'll see how these things develop uh, through time. So before we continue to the Super League 2, I want to quickly have a look here at the team overview to understand uh, what is happening. We can see that the team that has scored most goals at the moment is Manchester United. They're followed by Sevilla and Atletico Madrid, who are also on the same level as Real Madrid. Then uh, the goals from corners here, uh, Manchester United have three, as you can see. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, interesting that they have scored from a lot of uh, crossings. Um, Apparently, um, I guess this has something to do with uh, Romelu Lukaku, maybe even Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who knows. Then, best at hitting target. Sevilla are the best, uh, the best team in terms of shots on target ratio. You can see 47% of their shots have uh, hit the, the target, which means that they have either been a goal or have been saved or blocked. They have managed to do a total of 79 shots and uh, they... Uh, uh, so, what is that? Minutes since last goal, 52, that's not really important in this uh, situation. You can see that other teams with uh, high shots on target ratio are Milan, Atletico Madrid and Dortmund. Then we have the leaders uh, Real Madrid on joint 7th place with Liverpool. Now let's move on to the next statistic, most crosses completed. This is where Juventus are leading the way with 32%, then they are followed by Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico and Bayern. Manchester United are not in this, uh, in this top 8, which is uh, odd since they have uh, scored a lot of goals from corners, apparently not so much from crosses. At least they haven't completed a lot of crosses, maybe they are attempting quite a lot. It's, uh, it's interesting to see, but I'm not going to, d to delve into individual teams unless somebody in the comments uh, leaves a comment saying that they want to see something in specific where I would, uh, I would do a specific video on that topic. Most headers completed. Here we see Manchester United in third place. They are uh, behind Arsenal and Tottenham, so all English teams in top three. They have uh, managed to... They have managed to win... Um, Headers in uh, very high percentages. You can see that they uh, Manchester United attempted uh, much less headers than the other two teams, only 501, while Tottenham attempted 643 and Arsenal 590. So this is uh, interesting uh, statistic right here. 
In terms of most passes completed, Bayern Munich are the top team in the division, um, the same the same percentage as Barcelona and Real Madrid, 77% for all three teams. We also see the, the rest of the top eight. We also have best average uh, possession. Leaders are Bayern Munich, just above Real Madrid and Barcelona. Manchester United are in fourth place. Most fouls made, this is uh, very interesting here. You see that the leaders in the table, Real Madrid, are also leaders in most fouls made. So apparently they have... They are uh, a bit on the rough side. In terms of yellow cards, they have 32, which is again more than everybody else in the top 8. Apparently they have a disciplinary problem. Interesting that Zidane is, uh, is uh, enforcing such tactics. I would expect something else from a player and a coach like Zidane, but apparently this is what the AI in the game decided. Most tackles won. We see Arsenal are topping this table uh, with Real Madrid in second place. They have the same tackles one ratio as Arsenal. So apparently Real Madrid are indeed very good defensively, although they also uh, make a lot of fouls. So apparently they are attempting a lot of tackles. You can see that the number of fouls from Real Madrid is uh, 267 and they are far, far above everybody else. Uh, also, they are far above everybody else in terms of yellow cards. And they have also two red cards, so it's interesting how Real Madrid exactly are playing their football. Most shutouts, Real Madrid lead the way with seven shutouts from 16 matches. So uh, again, very good defensive statistics. Least conceded, Real Madrid again, only nine goals they have conceded so far from the, their 16 games, which is really impressive. You see that the second place team, their Arsenal has 14, which is significantly more. When it comes to form, Chelsea are currently the informed team with uh, four wins in their last four games. They have lost the fifth game uh, and uh, Real Madrid also have uh, four wins out of their last five games, but uh, they have lost their fourth game, so that's why they're in second place. Bayern Munich are in a very good place as well, although they lost their last game, but if you remember in the beginning uh, of this um, uh, Super League 1, they were, they were very close to the relegation zone and were struggling a bit to uh, kickstart their season. Games without losing, Arsenal are leading the way here, seven, seven, 7 games in a row without losing, so this is very impressive from them. Uh, otherwise, we see Chelsea Napoli uh, with 4. Games without winning, on the other hand, Tottenham with 5 games without a win. This is very unfortunate for them, and I think they will begin to struggle. Games without allowing a goal. This is uh, Milan here in the top with 2 games without allowing a goal. This is very good from Milan because they were also uh, in the relegation zone struggling. So let's have a quick look at, uh, at the overview and then we'll switch to the player stats. You can see how Bayern Munich have climbed the table and are now in 9th position while Tottenham have slumped into 13th, Liverpool 14th and Milan are now 17th, they have climbed above Benfica. So this is here a very fierce battle, PSG are again in the relegation zone, Napoli and Milan have climbed up while Benfica and PSG have slumped into the relegation zone. Moving to the player statistics and the top goal scorer charts, we see Antoine Griezmann leads the way with 10 goals, one more than Cristiano Ronaldo and two more than Maureen Cardi from Inter and Raul Jimenez from Benfica. Best at hitting the target is Milan's uh, attacker Andres Silva. He has, uh, he has managed to put the ball on target in 64 of his shots, the same percentage as Antoine Griezmann. Danny Welbeck from Arsenal is in third place, followed by Radamel Falcao from Chelsea. So. Falcao have moved from Monaco to Chelsea. Most key passes, Kevin De Bruyne and Juan Mata each with 17 key passes. Uh, we see Mata on, has 9 assists against his name while De Bruyne has only 3. So it's, uh, it's interesting why... Oh yes, here it is. So Kevin De Bruyne is in first position because he has only played in 14 games while Mata played in 16. In the assist section, as we already mentioned, Mata is leading the way with 9 assists. Uh, he's followed by Paulo Dybao and Dani Carvajal with 6 each. If you remember, Dani Carvajal accumulated his 6 assists very quickly in the beginning of the season, but he has, uh, he has not recorded any new assists since then. Most dribbles per match, not surprisingly, Neymar is leading the way with 5.58 dribbles per game. He's followed by Aden Hazard from Chelsea and Arjen Robben from Bayern Munich. In the most distance per 90 minute uh, rankings, which is I call this the, the workhorse uh, <laughs> ranking, N'Gol Kante is uh, leading, not surprisingly, as you know, he's a real uh, powerhouse in uh, Chelsea's midfield and uh, he has covered 10.87 kilometers per average every game. 
Not so close second is Dani Carvajal from Real Madrid, followed by Thomas Müller and Ander Herrera in third place with 9.69 kilometers. In terms of most tackles per match, Giorgio Chiellini from Juventus is the absolute winner here with 6.66 tackles per game, Golo Kante is in second place followed by Arturo Vidal and Javier Mascherano from Barcelona. Most key tackles by Socrates Papastato. Papastatopoulos from Dortmund, apologies for that, it's a difficult name for me at least, he has made 21 key tackles so far, he's followed by Mats Hummels, Per Mertesacker and Simon Kjaer. Moving now to the goalkeeper statistics, Keor Navas from Real Madrid has uh, managed to uh, keep his, uh, his sheet clean uh, with uh, seven, 7 shutouts here, you can see 7 shutouts from 14 games and uh, he's also leading in the least conceded with only 7 goals. Let's see this statistic as well. You can see that he's allowed only seven goals in his uh, in his goal, uh, which is five less than uh, the next one, Manuel Neuer, who has the same number of goals allowed as Roman Weidenfeller from Dortmund and Claudio Bravo from Manchester City. Moving to the statistics below, average rating, Lionel Messi is leading this statistic uh, since I think uh, the beginning of the season, only for a brief period. Uh, Luis Suarez and Cristiano Ronaldo were topping that table, but. Uh, Soon after, Lionel Messi over overtook them and has not looked back. Second place for Cristiano Ronaldo, then Bernardo Silva and Juan Mata. In the player of the match uh, rankings, Paulo Dybao is leading the way with five awards. One more than Bernardo Silva, Ozil, Luis Suarez and Eden Azar. Kalidu Kulibali, Gabriel Mercado and Cesar Espiliqueta have uh, the most yellow cards, six each, so they have disciplinary problems in those teams. Uh, as we know, Real Madrid also have a disciplinary problem. In terms of red cards, Phil Jones and Guido Pizarro are the worst performers here with two red cards each. We are now moving to Super League 2, where Monaco is leading the way while one point above Valencia, while in the bottom Lazio, CSK, Moscow and Ajax are still struggling. Uh, you can see the results in this, uh, in this one week. And we are now going to dive uh, briefly into the team overview. Let's start again from most goals. So Valencia are leading the way here with 31 goals, one more than Cruzeiro and three more than Monaco. Best at hitting the target are Palmeiras with 44% of their shots being uh, on target. That's very unfortunate since they're in the bottom of the table. They're with 1% more than Valencia, 2 more than Sporting Club de Portugal. In terms of most crosses completed, we have Santos leading this, uh, this table here with 29% of their crosses being uh, successfully completed. The same percentage as Monaco, 1% more than Athletic Bilbao and Botafogo uh, as well as uh, Olympique Lyon and uh, this is Cruzeiro and Villarreal, Zenit San Petersburg all have 28% of their crosses completed successfully. In terms of headers completed, Lazio are leading the way with 76%, which is the same number as Athletic Bilbao but uh, they have played one game less and uh, have managed to um, attempt more headers. This is very interesting here. Most passes completed, Lazio again are first here with 75%, two more than Atletico Mineiro and Atletico Bilbao. Best average possession award goes for Atletico Bilbao so far with 54.25% of the time the ball is in their possession. This is um, half a percent more than Monaco. And in third place we find Valencia. Most fouls made so far, uh, the, this ranking is led by the Brazilian Palmeiras. You can see that they have significantly more than the second place Dinamo Kiev, who have uh, even more uh, of a lead uh, to compare to third place, third place Corinthians. In terms of most tackles won, Flamengo are the leaders in this, uh, in this ranking here. So they have 74% of their tackles have been won successfully, 1% more than Lazio and 3% uh, more than Sporting Club de Portugal. Most shutouts, we see Botafogo and Athletic Bilbao with 6, six shutouts each. One more than Flamengo, Santos and Valencia. When it comes to least conceded goals, Olympique Lyon, Lazio and Valencia are leaders in this table. They have 16 goals conceded, uh, all of them, and uh, this is one less than Santos and Athletic Bilbao. Monaco are the informed team, although they have lost their last game, they, lo they won the previous four. Valencia also have four wins out of their last five. We see that uh, Flamengo is in third place with uh, three wins, one draw and one loss. Games without losing, Lyon and Lazio and Valencia all have uh, three each, is good news for them. Games without winning, on the other hand, 
Dutch Ajax is in the bottom of the table and are still yet to record a win so they have 16 games in a row without winning. This is very very unfortunate statistic for the Dutch giant. Games without allowing a goal, this is where Palmeiras shine, they, are, they have not conceded in their last two games and you see also that they are the team with the most fouls made so apparently they have taken a very defensive approach and uh, so far let's quickly go back to the overview to see where they are, they are in 14th position. In the beginning of the season they were close to the relegation zone so I would say this is working for them. Now let's quickly go through the player overview as well. Simone Zaza is the top goal scorer, 4 goals more than 2nd place Carlos Baca, Bas Dost, Sasa and uh, Rodrigo. So Car Simone Zaza is comfortably leading this table. Best at hitting the target is Aritza Duris from Athletic Bilbao with 68% of his shots being on target. This is 4 more than 2nd place Fedor Chalov. Most key passes by William Carvalho from Sporting and Carlos Soler from Valencia, 15 key passes each. Most assists here, Carlos Soler, very impressive, 10 assists against his name, he is only 20 years old, this player has a very very bright future in the game and in reality I think. Second place here for Roberto Soriano and William Carvalho with 6 assists against their names. Most dribbles per match, Iker Muniain from Athletic Bilbao has 3.97 dribbles per match. This is the same number as uh, Bernard from Shakhtyor, but uh, I think here the apps are telling a different story. Yes, so uh, Iker Muniain has played in more games and that's why he tops this table. Most distance covered, Denis Garmash from Dynamo Kiev is leading this statistic uh, just above uh, Taras Stepanenko from Shakhtyor. So the Ukrainian players are the workhorses of uh, Super League 2 apparently. Most tackles per match, leader here is uh, Roger Bernardo from Atletico Mineiro. Most key tackles, who has them, so William Carvalho from Sporting Club de Portugal and Alexander Pantic from Dinamo Kiev with 17 key tackles each. Most shutouts for Diego Alves from Flamengo, the Brazilian goalkeeper with 7 shutouts, which is one more than his chasers Kepa Arizabalaga from Bilbao, Vanderlei from Santos and Neto from Valencia. Least conceded for the same goalkeeper Diego Alves from, at, from Flamengo, he has uh, allowed only 9 goals, which is the same number as uh, Thomas Stracosha. the difference is that he has played 3 more games. Brazilian left fullback Jorge from Monaco is leading the average rating uh, table here with 7.44, Mariano from Lyon has picked up 4 player of the match awards, while Pontus Vernblum is the, the player with the most yellow cards with 7 against his name. In the red card section, Mauricio from Lazio, Dario Serna from Shakhtyor, Fagner from Corinthians and Geoffrey Condogbia from Valencia each have two red cards so far and have disciplinary problems. Next is Super League 3. We see Besiktas are the clear, clear leaders here with 10 points lead uh, compared to second place Sao Paulo and Borussia Mönchengladbach, while at the bottom we see Olympiacos are now in very good form and they have climbed to 18th position, only two points uh, behind Fenerbahce who are 17th and in safety, Feyenoord and Cruz Azul are also in the relegation zone. And now let's uh, focus on the team overview. First off we start with the most goals, Leverkusen and Besiktas are leading this statistic here with 30 goals each. Best at hitting the target, the target are again Bayer Leverkusen with 45% of their shots being on target which is one more than the leaders Besiktas. Most crosses completed, the Turkish Besiktas is uh, with 30% of their crosses being successfully completed, the same number as Boca Juniors, Borussia Bjochen Gladbach and Olympique Marseille. Most headers completed, German team Schalke is leading this, uh, this table here with 78% of their headers being won. The passes statistic is being led by English Everton with 74% of their passes uh, successfully completed, the same percentage as Real Sociedad and uh, German team Wolfsburg. In the most tackles won um, table here we see Wolfsburg is leading the way with 77% of their tackles being successfully won, which is two more than Sao Paulo. While in the most shutouts Everton and Sao Paulo each have 7 shutouts. Least conceded rankings here Besiktas have conceded only 14 goals which is one less than Boca Juniors, River Plate, Sao Paulo, Schalke who have 15 each. Teams in form, we can see River Plate is leading this, uh, this table here with 4 wins and 1 draw, uh, they have, um, they have uh, 1 draw less than Boca Juniors, so they have won 2 points more. Games without losing, Borussia Mjolnir-Gladbach, very impressive, 10 games in a row without losing, which is 1 more than Besiktas and 2 more than Everton. 
Games without winning, on the other hand, Feyenoord and Chivas are performing atrociously. You can see that uh, Feyenoord have not won in 8 games, while Chivas have uh, not uh, managed to taste uh, victory in 7 games. Then, games without allowing a goal, Schalke and Olympia cost lead here with uh, 3 games each. Now let's focus on the player statistics, so let's go to the player overview. We start from the top goal scorer, who is Kevin Volant, with 9 goals, one more than uh, Sandro from Everton, Rafael from Borussia Mönchengladbach, and Talishka from Besiktas. The best player at hitting the target is Cristian Cueva from Sao Paulo, he has uh, been uh, successful with 66% of his shots. Most key passes have been made by Gilfie Sigurdsson with 16, one more than Xavi Prieto and uh, Ignacio Fernandes and UCLA. Most assists by UCLA from Sao Paulo and Vincenzo Grifo from Borussia Mjolken Gladbach. Gladbach, both of them have 6 assists so far. Most dribbles per game, uh, Eugen Konoplanka from Schalke has uh, managed to, pr to produce 3.7 dribbles each game, which is uh, just slightly more than Maximi Maximilian Meyer from uh, the same team from Schalke, so apparently Schalke have the best dribblers in Super League 3. Christoph Kramer has covered the most distance, a bit more than Luis Gustavo from Olympic Marseille. Christoph Kramer is a player of Borussia Mönchengladbach. Most tackles won, Ignacio Camacho is uh, leading this uh, statistic here in terms of most key tackles. Eric Botegin from Feyenoord and uh, Jair Pereira from Chivas, each with uh, 14 key tackles. German Lux, the River, Plate, uh, the River Plate goalkeeper, and Ralf Farman from Schalke each have 7 shutouts, while the least conceded award goes to Stefanos Capino from Olympiakos. This is very interesting, Olympiakos keeper Capino has allowed only 7 goals, but this is from 10 games, so I'm not really sure how relevant this statistic is at the moment. Xavi Prieto is leading the average rating uh, table here with 7.53. He's also the player with uh, the most player of the match awards. He has three, but probably in, in less games than Irvin Lozano, Eric Butegin, uh, Kevin Volant, and Alvaro Negredo and UCLA, who also have three player of the match awards. In terms of yellow cards, uh, Iago Zvukovic, uh, Santiago Vergini, Pepe and uh, Petros from Sao Paulo each have six yellow cards while Alvaro Odriozola and Adil Rami from Olympique Marseille, they both have two red cards and have uh, very significant disciplinary problems. Dropping down to Super League 4, where Tigres are the leaders with one point above uh, Real Betis, we see that here in the bottom we have Leicester, Pumas and Anderlecht, so apparently uh, here we have some changes, uh, before if you remember we had a different uh, top, bottom three, Leicester have slumped now into the uh, danger zone, and we'll see how things develop here. Now let's go to the team overview. Starting with most goals, Tigres are leading this table here with 35 goals, which is 6 more than 2nd place Kion. Best at hitting the target are Spartak Moscow with 43% of their shots being on target, the same percentage as the German Kion. Most crosses completed by uh, French team Nice, 31%, one more than Pumas and Celta Vigo. Most headers completed, 80% for English Leicester, so this is very significant, say second place, Southampton with 77. Most passes completed by Belgian Anderlecht, 74% of their passes uh, being uh, successfully connected with another player. Best average possession by English Southampton, 55.25% of the time the ball is in their, in their possession, which is um, half a percent more than Celta Vigo. Most fouls made by the uh, English Leicester, 306, which is uh, a lot more than second placed Vasco da Gama and uh, Celta Vigo. Most tackles won by Anderlecht, 74%, very, very good statistic here. Most shutouts, Real Betis have uh, managed to produce 8 shutouts so far in Super League 4. And they are also the team that have uh, conceded the least. They have conceded only 9 goals so far from 16 games, which is very, very impressive stuff. I think this is very similar to the statistic that Real Madrid have. Newcastle is right now the informed team with uh, 4 wins out of their last 5 games. Unfortunately for them, they recorded a draw in their last game. Uh, otherwise, Celta Vigo also have 4 wins, but they also have recorded a loss in their last 5. Southampton lead in the table games without losing, with uh, their 8 games being uh, draws or wins. In games without wi uh, winning, Basel, unfortunately for them, are the leaders here with 6 games and in games without allowing a goal, un there is no clear leader, only several teams that have managed to keep a clean sheet in their last fixture. Now let's see the player overview. 
what is happening here, starting with the top goal scorer who is uh, Gerard Moreno with 10 goals, two more than André Pierre Gignac from Tigres and uh, Yuya Osako from Kion. Best at hitting the target are Zé Luis from Spartak Moscow and uh, Sergio Leon from Real Betis, 66% uh, each. Most key passes by Magnelli Torres from Atletico Nacional, uh, he is a Colombian player with 19 key passes, the same number as Yuri Gazinski from San Lorenzo. Most assists by Yuri Gazinski, 7 against his name, which is one more than Southampton's player Oreo Romeo. Most dribbles per game for Riyad Mahrez from Leicester. And then in second place we see Christian Atsu from Newcastle. Most uh, distance covered for 90 minutes, Badun Diaye from Galatasaray. He is the leader in this, uh, in this table. Second place for Thomas Rincon from, to from Torino. Going to the next table here, most tackles per match. Talan Jaka is leading with 5.20 tackles per game. And this is a bit more than Fernando from Galatasaray. Most key tackles uh, have been produced by Olivier de Schacht from Anderlecht. 19 key tackles, which is 5 more than everybody else. In terms of most shutouts, Antonio Adan, the Real Betis goalkeeper, is uh, the leader of this table. He has managed to... to Produced 10 shutouts, which is very, very uh, impressive performance from him. Least conceded 7 goals only from the same goalkeeper, Antonio Adan, from 16 games. So this is very good performance from the Real Batiste goalkeeper. André Pierre Gignac is leading the average rating table with 7.5. He is followed by Gerard Moreno and Mariano from Galatasaray. Magneri Torres from Atletico Nacional has uh, won 5 player of the match awards, which is the most in this division while Paulao from Vasco da Gama has picked up 7 yellow cards, which is the most uh, in this uh, category. In the red card section, Sergio Leon from Real Betis uh, has 3 red cards and has a significant uh, disciplinary, disciplinary problems. We see that in this division we have the most red cards, at least per uh, individual players. Apparently the discipline here in Super League 4 is the worst. Now it's time for the lowest division, Super League 5, where Racing Club is uh, leading the way. So here we have uh, a lot of uh, competition at the top. You can see that uh, the difference between the first and the sixth is only three points. Racing Club are first, West Ham second. Then in the bottom, no uh, significant changes. So let's go to the, uh, to the team overview and uh, see what happened uh, with the team so far until the 3rd of December. In terms of most goals, West Ham are leading the way with 27, two more than Stoke and uh, Deportivo La Coruña. Italian Sabdoria are the best at hitting the target with 46% of their shots being successfully um, on target. Deportivo La Coruña with 30% uh, cross completion ratio, Stoke have 78%, uh, headers won, while Malaga have 73% of their pass completed successfully, the same percentage as Italian teams Sassuolo and Atalanta. In terms of uh, possession, Stoke are leading this uh, statistic here with 53.25, which is half a percent more than their English compatriots West Ham. Bordeaux have, uh, have made the most fouls with 255, 10 more than Belgian club Bruges. Most tackles won by German Mainz, 75%, 1% more than Atalanta and Hertha Berlin. Most shutouts by Genoa, 9 shutouts, which is 3 more than West Ham, very, uh, very significant performance here in defensive plan by Genoa, they also have conceded the least goals, only 11 goals, 2 less than Mainz, so very good performance by Genoa. The informed team at the moment is West Ham with 4 wins and 1 draw, Sassuolo have uh, 3 wins, 1 draw and 1 loss. Then games without losing, West Ham and Mainz 7 each, games without winning, on the other hand Genoa, this is uh, very alarming for them, they were, they were leading the table for, for a very long time and now they have 7 games without recording a victory. Games without allowing a goal, Racing Cup and Malaga with 2 each. Switching now to player overview to see what is happening here. Top goal scorer, we have three players that uh, each have eight goals. Mi uh, Michael Antonio from West Ham, Florin Andone from Deportivo and Leandro Damiao from Internacional. Best at hitting the target is Enrique Triverio from Lassin Club. 63% of his shots have been on target, which is 2% uh, more than Torgan Azar. Pedro Obiang has made 19 key passes, three more than Pape Diop from Bordeaux while Pape Diop has 6 assists against his name, which is one more than Pedro Bianc. In the dribble section, Alejandro, Home Alejandro, Gomez, uh, from Atal Apologies, Alejandro Gomez from Atalanta has uh, 4.66 dribbles per game and is leading this table, uh, which is uh, a bit more than Adolta Arap from Genoa. 
most distant covered by Jonas Svensson from Aze Alkmar. He is covering a bit more than Carolinetti from Sampdoria, while Kevin Doram is the player who has uh, managed to produce most tackles per, per game. Most key tackles uh, so far by Marco Tosilieri from Racing Coupe. Uh, he has produced 17, which is 3 more than everybody else. Mattia Perin, the Genoa goalkeeper, has produced the most shutouts, 8 shutouts against his name, and the least conceded table is led by Joe Hart with only 7 goals from 11 games. The average rating table is being led by Florin Andone from Deportivo, while uh, Marlon Freitas and uh, Pedro Bianc, Saido Bereino and Florin Andone each have to be player of the match awards. The yellow cards table, we see Jose Maria Basanta with 6 yellow cards, he has one more than everybody else. In the red cards, we see two players with two red cards, Jesus, uh, Jesus Eduardo Safala from Monterrey and Stefano Sturaro from West Ham each have two red cards and have uh, some disciplinary problems. Now I think this is enough for episode 8, so uh, if you still haven't seen the previous parts of the series Super Leagues, please make sure to do so. I will leave links in the description below and you can also check the, um, the videos in my channel. Especially important is to watch episode 1 where I provide the description of these competitions and also the rules of them and what is the overall purpose. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, that way you're going to receive notifications for when I upload new videos. In the meantime, you can also check out my social media, links will be provided in the description below as well. Let me know what you guys think about this, um, this um, competitions, what would you like to see next, whether you want me to focus on a specific aspect, I would love to hear more from you in the comments. Thank you again for watching, until the next time, bye!